Hey all, welcome back to the channel. I thought that today we will do something a little bit different. You know, just this morning I was thinking to myself, myself, you haven't had any good zombie slaying in your life lately and that's kind of a shame because I do miss it. I haven't had any in a while. And I thought to myself, let's take a look at a game that someone recommended to me many moons ago, I think. And I just never got around to it, which is kind of a shame because I've been hearing great things. Today we're going to take a look at Death Road to Canada, which is um, something that I'm going to have to make a first impressions video about, which is kind of bizarre since this game has been out forever. But anyway, this is my first impressions of this game. I have never played this, so please know that <laughs> going in. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's just see what we can see, whether we can have some fun, and yeah, maybe get something good out of this. Let's take a look. Uh, custom. Laverne. Uh, yeah, I definitely. Uh, yeah. Can we randomize? Yes. So we have. Oh, that's not good. Uh, yeah, now I want someone interesting. Norberto. <laughs> Uh, uh, you can select the perks. Let's take a look. Uh, Jordan Watson. <laughs> Some cute characters coming up here. Now see, I'm just kind of looking for someone who catches my eye. You know, someone I feel like I could... Uh, go through a bit of an apocalypse with, uh, do some zombie slaying with, and, uh, you know, someone I wouldn't mind spending a little bit of time with, actually. Hmm. <laughs> this looks like an old dude with a massive moustache. Alright, can set a portrait. Let's see, uh, Frantic Whiner. What does that do? I don't even know. He's a fighter, which... Uh, ooh. Start with a hatchet, get one point in strength, get one point in shooting. Uh, yeah, I guess. And a frantic whiner, what does that do? I don't even, I don't even see it as an option, I guess. Uh, is that the next page? Oh, there we go. Kind of fragile sort, but really good at fleeing. Hmm, that doesn't seem to fit with... Uh, the rest of him, he's such a fighter. How can he be? Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take this one. I really need the extra strength. Uh, hmm. And I think that's it for now. On the head, uh, I see we can. <laughs> it's got a massive jaw. Well, I do like the massive moustache. Let's see. Yeah, I think Elijah, being such a fighter, I think he would have... Oh no, not a beret. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. He would probably... Hmm, man, there are a lot of hats. Yeah, let's just give him a regular old cap. Yeah, let's go. I think this is it. Uh, do I have to save before I exit? Yeah, let's just let's just save Elijah, and yeah, let's go back. We want. Okay, I just want to see. When I say new game now, does it uh, give me the custom characters? Let's see. Sure. My leader is going to be Elijah. His buddy, yeah, he does have a buddy, Haywood. Elijah and Haywood. <laughs> <laughs> Mega buff, frantic whiner. Yes, he can be the frantic whiner. I shan't be. Uh, let's take a look. What else do we... Ooh, game start. Death Road Normal, familiar characters, rare characters, short trip, four jerks mode. Hmm. I think Death Road Normal mode, I am not yet up for... Oh, we have more. Ooh, deadlier road mode. <laughs> Endless mode, okay. Yeah, no, let's take the death road normal mode. We'll see what we can see. Oh, there we go. The road trip has started. 
Elijah hears rumors that Canada is a safe place free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. Some car types are easier to repair than others, requiring a smaller mechanical skill. Uh, yeah, give me one more hint, I guess. Uh, zombies get hit for extra damage if they are knocked down first. Some weapons have high knockdown. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so let's hit the road. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So where do we go first? There's a house on the road, a Yolmart, <laughs> and a quiet factory. Hmm, I like the idea of a quiet. Then again, going to a Yolmart sounds like the thing you would do when you get ready for a road trip. So let's go there. Let's see what happens. The group spots an abandoned Yolmart <laughs> off in the distance. It looks like it's been looted, but maybe there's some untouched loot inside. Your zombie forecast is... Oh, that doesn't sound right. Swarm size mild. Oh, <laughs> okay. I was hoping for less, but you know, let's go. Uh, aggression, sluggish, current time, afternoon. That doesn't sound so bad. Doesn't sound so bad for a fighter like Elijah. Uh, what is this? Flashlight? Do I need that? Is that already mine? Okay. Haywood. Oh, so I've got a hatchet. He's got a metal pipe. Uh, that's all right. That does seem like... Oh, lead the mission? Control by player? Sure. Status? Oh, so my wits suck. My morale is pretty good. Uh, and his attitude is really poor. Hmm. That might be a problem. We might have to... Oh, that's of course the frantic whiner thing. Ah. Ah, well. We'll see. Maybe he doesn't survive this mission. Okay. Uh, there we go. Let's boogie. Come on, Hayward. Let's go. Oh, dear. I forgot which buttons attack. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at what's what else is in this place. Got my hatchet. I don't think we have to fight all of these zombies, do we? I'm just afraid my hatchet will, uh, you know, end up not being as durable as I might like. Let's see, let's see. You do it. Hey, would you keep us safe? I will run around and see about... Oh, there's some loot. There's some loot. Food, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to need a lot of food. Always need a lot of food on a road trip. Err, uh, not here, not here. Uh, yeah, this place is pretty deserted. Except for the zombies, of course, but uh, not much we can do about that. Bathrooms. Oh, these are these are seriously large bathrooms. That's all right. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Ooh. What is... The one looks like bullets, the, the blue one. Uh, I wonder what the green one was. Were there any other rooms out of here? No, I I don't think bathrooms typically do that, do they? Oh no, the zombies are coming. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so they don't load in and out on a room by room basis. That, that is good to know. Uh, I should maybe have looked up some details of this game before I played it. No matter, we will soldier on. Oh, can we go out? Can we go out? Ah, no more zombies blocking us. Let's go. Arr. There's a room. Oh no. Uh, there's <laughs> this is not a very clean bathroom, is it? Uh, I Maybe we shouldn't have expected as much from zombies, but... Are, are you... Yes, you're lying down. I th what, what's that green stuff? I'm guessing that's like fuel or something. Oh, oh I just closed the door on their faces. Oh no. Don't kill me. Oh no, 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 I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, there we go, there we go. Come on, zombies. I can handle you. How long will my hatchet last if I keep going on like this? Ah, uh, bunch of dead zombies. Let's see. Okay, that looks like bullets. Doesn't seem to be much left after this room. Ooh, yes, that red thing is definitely fuel. Uh, let's see. What are these? Meds? Yeah. Can I... Can I... Uh, I can throw these around. I can pick this up. This is some sort of weapon. I can't quite. Uh, it looks like a two by four with nails in it. Yeah. Oh, what exploded? 
Ooh, this thing is strong. Do I do I get things from destroying these? Uh... Oh, I'm sweating. I'm exerting myself too much. Oh, you really have to be careful about that. Luckily, we have no zombies around us. Uh, let's go. I think we cleared out this place. I think we got all we can from this. Let's. Uh... Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> okay. No, it looks like we're good. We're good. I think we can move along. What is that? No, that's nothing. Oh. Start the car. Uh. Oh, there we go. Car start. Floor it. Let's go. Oh, I have to hold the button in. Oops. Okay. Yeah, that's decent. We got six food, 32 fuel, some of this stuff. Pistol ammo. Yeah, that's going to be useful. Let's go. The group goes against their judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. Oh, jeez. Good. Ah, uh, do we... <laughs> you know what? We don't have great wits. Let's plan out our escape. Who plans and leads? Yeah, I'm going to be leading. Haywood is not very great. Oh, I've got mediocre composure, I guess. He goes the wrong way. The group gets... Bur oh, jeez. <laughs> this is not going well at all. The group gets away, though. We eat a decent meal and we lose full food. That's not too bad. Oh. Elijah tries to help but lacks enough medical supplies. Yeah, well, not much I can do about that. The group gets a peaceful moment to rest in a safe house. No zombies in sight. That sounds familiar. Is this place going to burn down as well? With some spare time, they decide to... Yeah, I think... Mm. Let's learn mechanic skills. <laughs> Other ways to accidentally mess up machinery. Sure, sure. He doesn't know much about it. It's a completely useless lesson. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Elijah. So, I am not very mechanical. But I am happy for having taught Haywood just about nothing. Huh, fantastic. The group spots an infested city from the road. Scouting it from afar, the group has to decide whether to fight under the noon sun for supplies. Zombie forecast, they're mild, they're calm. It's noon. Uh, I just got a lot of food, so I think let's go to a bookstore. There. Haywood is nearly dead. I don't know that that's a good idea to take him along. At the same time, I don't know that I can do this by myself. So I'm guessing... Yep, yeah, let's bring him. It's gonna have to be... <laughs> I love how we drive over the zombies. Uh, let's go. Let's go, Haywood. Follow me. This is the Bookatorium. Mm, I hope this is... Get out of my way, zombie. Okay, let's see. Can we can we pick up these books? Ooh, book in good condition. Is it maybe a complete guide to lifting? Okay, yeah, I like it, I like it. What we do need is a complete guide to mechanical stuff because apparently we suck at that. Let's see, let's see. Anything here? Something in this one? I'm kind of wondering what kind of a world has a lot of fuel showing up in toilets. That's kind of just uh, uh, my question. <laughs> That's a bit strange. Let's see. Oh, here's another book. You, get away from me. Uh, you cannot... Oh, no. I think I'm getting stuck. Oh, I'm getting surrounded. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, do not die. I forbid you. Okay, yeah. I can throw books at people, at zombies. Uh, I didn't manage to read too many of them, maybe just one. Oh no. Okay. Is there anything else on this, in this little area? Let's see, we can exit to the left. I don't want to do that, my car's here. Uh, let's go. Uh, oh no, not the chair. Let's see, uh, can I get through here? Is this blocked? I'm guessing it's blocked. Yeah, alright, no worries. We'll go around if we can. 
Uh, bathroom. No fuel, oddly enough. Oh, where did you come from? Where did you come from? Back, I say. Oh, oh, jeez. Yeah, thank you, Haywood. You're good for something sometimes. Ah, oh, come on, no chair. Ah, oh, everything in this house has pretty much been blocked off. That's unfortunate. I can pick up a piece of wood. Maybe save my hatchet a bit. Yep. All right, let's take the next house. See if we can find anything interesting. Er, uh, some chairs. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this chest. Uh, some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see some interesting things here. Some more food. Uh, is that meant to be a stove? But these, this is like a bedroom. Hmm. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, yeah. Five golden bullets. I wonder how those are different. Uh, nothing much here. Ah, uh, I'm sure there should be. Ooh, another room. Ah, uh, out of here, zombie. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Some more food from uh, nothing much. Hmm. I think there's not a lot in these houses, although they are nice and spacious. Oh, oh this 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 weapon has almost no knockdown. That's uh, oh geez. Uh, femur? <laughs> that for fighting with? Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Very uh, very suitable. Very. Fitting, I should say, fighting zombies with a femur. Why not? Okay, let's take the next house. Oh, that's full of trash. Blocked off. This one as well. Oh. There we go. Oh no, this is completely blocked off. Oh no, we're gonna be stuck. I think we need to leave. This is getting a bit too intense. Er, uh, yes. Let's start the car. Floor it! Oh. <laughs> we drive over so many of them, it's fantastic. 29 zombies destroyed, hey, that's that's impressive. So the golden bullets are rifle ammo. Mm, yeah, sounds useful. We now have complete guide to lifting. Everyone gets a chance to read it and learn some new things. Yeah, we both learned something, that's pretty good. Yeah, we need more strength. I do notice this is some bullcrap. I agree, Haywood. <laughs> the group finds an inn. Open for business. The owner wrings her hands. Give me ten food. I'll watch over you while you sleep. Hey. She is super creepy. I was about to say. Erm. Do we chance it? Do we drive off with no sleep? I'm just concerned what happens if we end up with no sleep. Isn't that kind of dodgy. You know what? I'm going to trust her. I believe in the good of humanity. Uh, she is like a human, right? She's not a zombie. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Let's pay the damn food. Let's sleep. We pay to stay the night at the inn. It is comfortable. No one wants zombies creeping while they're sleeping. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, well, that actually worked out okay. How lucky. Innkeeper serves up an amazing breakfast and we're on our way again. Very nice. See, I always say, you just trust humanity and things will work out. Ooh. We find a repair shop. There's a tiny bit of gas, plus a lot of broken garbage. There could be something good here if you know how to fix it. Uh, we do not know how to fix it, right? I, uh, we know that we don't know. At least Elijah doesn't. Maybe Haywood can do something. Yeah, Haywood, let's see whether you have any mechanic skills. He gets a lot of cuts, scrapes, and bruises, but he does learn about repair the hard way. That's not bad. Yeah, we get something out of that. Haywood rolls up his sleeves and starts tending to our wounds. He tries to help, but lacks enough medical supplies. See, now that is just a filthy lie. I remember picking up a lot of medical supplies. Look there, we have... well, we have two. Certainly that's enough to heal someone. 
Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade, with preserved food being the new currency. You have three food left. Oh no. That uh, seems terrible. The group runs into a trading camp. Oh, that's convenient. Let's visit them, see what we can trade. Uh, I'm guessing they didn't mention food for no reason. Probably we can trade. <laughs> we find a dog surrounded by a bunch of ammo. The dog speaks. Welcome to Ammo Emporium. Everything must go. Uh, it offers five bullets, four rifle ammo, and three shotgun shells per food item. Oh, no, no, no. You misunderstand, good sir. I do not want to spend food. I want to purchase food. Uh, there has to be a food seller, a food vendor somewhere here, right? Do you sell food? The group finds a man setting... Oh, oh. A man selling a bunch of firearms. He's holding a minigun that has a scope, a laser sight, and a flashlight attached to it. However, his selection seems like pretty common stuff. Uh, uh, a pistol sounds like it can be quite useful, but I have noticed we have three food. We eat four food per like trip, per section that we drive. We are pretty much already out of food. This is not good. We need a food seller. Come on. Uh, please sell food. Sell me some food. The group talks to a meek looking woman. She invites you to check out her collection of rifles. Oh, it's just guns, guns, guns with these people. Uh, yeah, no, this isn't gonna help me at all. I'm so sorry. What am I going to do? I do not have food. Hmm. Uh, I guess we are about to starve. There's nothing else here. Well,. Nothing else to do but continue the trip. Let's see what we get. Three food. This can open has seen better days. Okay, the car is driving down the highway and it approaches a figure in the rain. Oh, that looks very creepy. That looks like... Oh no, that looks like the clown from American Horror Story. Haywood slows down to see who it is. It is a clown. Oh, I knew it. It holds out a little clown horn and honks. The sound is so distorted. Uh, yeah, I am seriously creeped out. Let's let the clown in the car. Why did you do that? Why? <laughs> clown joins the team. Onward to Canada. Let's go. Yeah, no, we're, we're trusting people. There's no reason not to trust people, except that the clown doesn't have very good medical skills. And that is unfortunate. All right, the car gets stuck in the ditch near a crappy dirt road. The group is close to getting the car out when a roaming horde draws near. Oh no. Now they must distract the zombies from getting too close. Siege alert, there is no escape. Oh no, oh this is bad. It is large, the siege length is 0.7 hours, try to survive. Oh no. Well, there's nothing for it. Uh, we'll just have to do our best. Clown, do you have... You do not have a weapon. So let me give you... Uh, how do I do that? Let me give... Uh, how do I... How do I actually do this? Clown... Oh no. I think I should be able to drag something. Oh yes, you drag it out into the center and you drag it back in. Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, just need a moment to figure it out. Um, this flashlight, I wonder what we can do with it. We haven't used it yet. Haywood is so close to death, it's not even funny. I don't even know whether he's going to be useful in this battle. But you know what? We've got a siege to conduct, uh, or to defend against, rather. And we're just going to have to make the best of what we have. At this point, I think it's all about fighting the zombies, maybe running around a bit, if you can manage it. Ooh, ooh, no, no. Back, I say! Leave me alone. Oh, how long do we have to survive this for? Ooh, no, 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 I'm going to die. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is terrible. I am doing such a poor job. Oh! <laughs> no. Die! <laughs> uh, did Haywood already die? I think Haywood already died. Uh, oh no. It's all I can do just to escape. Uh, this is so unfortunate. Do I? Oh, I can. The seizure's over. You could try to escape. Oh, let's go, let's go. 
I don't think there's anything I can do for Hayward. Uh, yes, let's hit the road, please. 11 zombies destroyed. I barely suffered. Oh no, we actually lost Hayward. Well, to be fair, he had a really poor attitude and he knew nothing about healing. So, you know, maybe it's good riddance. <laughs> The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they are getting the hang of this. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't quite say that. Choose a reward for the group. Uh, hmm. Morale and random skill gain. At this point it would be useful to have noticed what our morale is doing, but they do feel inspired, so maybe we don't quite need this. Shooting or mechanical? Well, we don't have any guns right now and we don't have food to get guns with, so... I think we should take mechanical in case this car breaks. All these car <laughs> all these cars aren't getting any less broken. Clowns mechanical revealed. Terrible. Elijah's mechanical increases. And the clowns. Wow. Here we go. Zombo point earned. Oh, what is that? Use it to unlock traits, perks, and more. Ooh. Yes. Our gas is also running quite low. All right, bandit watch. It's nearly time to camp, but there has been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Who should stay up on watch? Well, I need my beauty rest, so I th I'm guessing the clown is going to stay up. He stands guard, he ignores the task, and falls asleep almost instantly. Oh no. The next morning, a bunch of supplies are missing. You fool! What have you done? Uh, his loyalty is terrible. I should have known. Actually, never trust a clown. Oi. Okay, so we lose food. We are kind of on half rations, it seems, and our morale decreases. I kind of think this is what's happening. We're eating half rations of food, and that's killing our morale. Uh, uh. Womp womp. <sighs> clown, you are terrible at medical. Why are you even trying? Trader trap. Oh no. The group checks out what appears to be a trader settlement. They are instead ambushed by bandits who have taken it over. One of them looks injured. They demand all your extra gas and half of your ammo and medical supplies. Uh, I don't think this is something I can afford to do. <laughs> the clown can offer to heal injury. But he's so terrible at that, with our luck, he'll just kill the bandit and we'll be in even deeper trouble. Clown saw this coming. Clown saw this coming. <laughs> Ooh, always suspicious. Clown hid the car and supplies before approaching the settlement. He claims to have nothing of value. The bandits doubt this but can't find anything. They end up letting the group go. Hey Clown, you are pretty good. Clown's attitude. He has really high wits, but he has kind of a terrible attitude. That's all right. As long as you're useful, you can have as bad an attitude as you want. There we go. Wow. Clown is really being useful at this point. Always be looting. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Do we go to the... Ooh, why is the museum's name flashing like this? Uh, there's a fancy house. There's a museum that has a flashy name. I kind of wonder about that. What is... Uh, the previous thing that flashed like this was the, the siege. I'm just worried this may, might be kind of a siege situation, in which case I might lose Clown. And Clown has been pretty useful, so I don't want to lose him. Let's go to the fancy house first, see what we can find. Maybe we can uh, get back to the museum at some point. The group spies a house that looks expensive from the outside. There must be something in there worth checking out. Your zombie forecast is mild, their aggression is irritated. Hmm. Yeah, well, there's nothing we can do about that now. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Die, zombie. I keep missing them the first time. I keep not wanting to go to close. Go too close. Uh, oh no. Clown has lost his femur. Well, not his femur, his weapon femur. Come on, clown. Uh, uh, oh, no, 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 no. That's gonna... Oh, no, oh, no. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I got myself into a terrible situation. I think clown is dead. Oh, this is terrible. 
No, Clown is fine. He is so terrifying. I think even the zombies don't want to go too close, to be perfectly honest. I wonder whether we can lure them in here. And then maybe run around them. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Leave me be. Let me out. Oh jeez. Oh, that's a book. Oh, I think we're stuck. Oh, oh no. No, 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 I made it. I made it. There's just so many zombies coming in here. Uh, a spine? I am not going to fight with a spine. The femur was bad enough. Come now. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, 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 no. Uh. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. I horribly uh, mismanaged that. But, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> Alright. This was quite fun, I must say. Uh, I had quite a time. And uh, I think I might definitely be playing this again in the near future. Now, of course, on this first playthrough of mine, I committed the cardinal sin of playing with a mouse and keyboard when the game is so clearly designed for a controller. And not only that, but I was actually playing one-handed all the time. It must have been force of habit, but I had my one hand on the mouse the entire time, which you could probably pick up with the mouse cursor appearing every now and then. And of course, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have the clickety-clack of keyboard keys in the background. Well, it wasn't all bad, I don't think. But next time, I guarantee we'll be better prepared. This has been great. I hope to see you guys next time. Take care.